Happy Thursday. I'm Christine. I'm coming live from Southern Maryland. Uh, as you're hopping on, can you say hey, hi in the comments? If you see that little red, red box above, uh, I think it's the left hand side or the right, your right hand side, um, that means you're live. Can you drop a one in the comments and let me know you're live? Um, if you don't see that, if you don't see that red box, that means you're coming on a replay. Can you drop two in the box, comments to let me know that you are here so I can still comment along and comment along as if you are catching me live because I still like to talk back to you, talk with you and welcome you. If you're new and you've never seen any of my videos, drop new in the comments so I can wel welcome you. And uh, if we're not friends already, have, have me as a friend because I love making new friends. Send me a friend request. Um, if you'd like to see when I go Notify when I go live, hit my nose or anywhere on my face, and three dots come up on the right hand side. And you can hit get notified, see first, and that way you'll know when I'm going live. Um, so, like I said, my name is Christine. I'm coming from Southern Maryland, and tonight we're going to be making cheesy garlic bread because I made spaghetti for dinner and I made meatballs for me, and I'm making nukes noodles for my family. Hey Shannon, thanks for hopping on. Um, they're going to be eating noodles. I'm going to be eating the meat, just the meatballs and the sauce and the salad and I miss, my, I miss my Texas toast and because Texas toast and they'll be having Texas toast. But I miss my Texas toast. How you look, here it is right here and I'm going to tell you how many carbs is in this. And I don't eat it because it has 16 grams of carbs in one slice. And I only usually go like 20, 20 to 30 grams of carbs a day. I try to keep it 20 and under if I can. Uh, so that's why I don't eat Texas toast. But I miss it, so I want another kind of replace it with something that tastes almost as good. And I'm going to show you two options. A low carb option and a strict keto option. And the low carb option is I'm going to take my low carb bread and I got two slices here and then I'm going to butter them and I'm going to bake them. Uh, what'd you have for dinner tonight, Shannon? Um, well, anyways, I better, and whoever else is on, let me know what you're having for dinner. I love to know what people are having for their dinner. Um, but I got my two low carb breads, and this is the bread I I usually get the Sara Lee Delight, and this is hey Tiffany, this is a low carb dirty keto kind of way. Um, but if you're strict keto, you would probably want to stay away from these. But I'm dirty keto, so I do this, and this is called Simply Sara Lee Simply Delightful, and it's 45 calories per slice. And it has, uh, let's see, 18 minus 6 is 12, 12 grams of, 12 grams of carbs and two slices. Okay, I thought so. Six grams of carbs each slice. That's way better than 17 grams for one piece of this. Even though I love my Texas, I love my Texas toast. If you like Texas toast, put Texas toast in the comment. Texas or toast in the comment or both. Hey Betty, thanks for hopping on. Hi, how are you doing? Tiffany, you had chicken for dinner? Yum. We're having spaghetti, but I, you know, of course, I'm not going to eat the noodles, and I don't have any. You could also make your spaghetti with spaghetti squash, zoodles, zucchini. Zucchini, and I think I'm saying that right. And uh, there's different options out there for low carb dirty. And the squash is strict keto. And the zucchini is strict keto. But I don't have any of that tonight, so I just wanted to make meatballs for myself. And they're going to be eating the new spaghetti noodles. So what I do here is I take my, I'm going to put my oven on 350. And then what I do is I take my bread and I'm going to put some melted butter on it. Oh, you're having fried chicken too? Sounds yummy. I love some fried chicken. Yeah, I'm 
Chick I can eat chicken every day of the week. Chicken strips, chicken wings. Yum. And then what I do is I just take some melted butter, put on here. I need to melt some. What I did, I melted two tablespoons of butter. And you know, I'll go, let me wipe this off. And when that the oven preheats, I'm gonna put that in, and you just bake that till it's a golden brown. And then I'm gonna show you what's where I'm gonna make a charcoal for strict heat ass. And I'll show you the, like, the sauce or whatever, you, the topping, the toppings I'm gonna put on that, and you can put that on that too, that's what I did. Okay, ingredients for the charcoals. How's everybody doing tonight? Let me know what you've been up to. I know it's hot here. Let me know the weather where you're at and where you're at, because I like to see how far these videos are reaching. And, like always, these these recipes come right straight from my group. And if you'd like to be added into that group, if you're not in there already, uh, drop group in the comment. And I'd love to get you in there. It's absolutely free. Lots of great resources for keto, low-carb living. Lots of testimonies and all kinds of stuff. Uh, menus, meal plans. Uh, so it's a great resource. So drop group in the comments if you, I don't already have you in there. Hey Yvonne, thanks for hopping on. Um, so what this calls for, it's called cheesy garlic bread chop. And the ingredients are a half a cup of mozzarella cheese, one egg, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of cream cheese. So let's get started. Put you up here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so that's a half a cup of mozzarella. Let me get my cup. I've got that bag. Okay, so that calls for a half a cup of mozzarella. So I'm just using this spreaded mozzarella. Drop some eyes and comments and ears if you can see and hear me, okay? I made one other one before. It wasn't this. It was like uh, with fathead dough, garlic bread. So this time I want to try this. I'm going a little bit over, but that's all right. Okay, so that's half a cup of mozzarella cheese, one egg. I'm not getting no shell in there. Okay, let's see. What do y'all usually have with your spaghetti? Do y'all have any kind of bread or? Uh, let me know what y'all have with your spaghetti when you have it. Okay, that's one egg, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. So this is a half a teaspoon, so I'm going to just do it twice because I can't find my teaspoon. Right Give me some more measuring spoons because I never can find them when I'm looking for one. Okay, that's two, te two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And one teaspoon of cream cheese. And I have my mini mini dash charcoal warming up. Preheating. Okay. And I also sometimes use that six four seven bread, low carb bread. 
Okay, my cream cheese, I'm not, I got it soft because it was a little hard, so you want it softened. So I didn't have it out right away, so what I did is just nuked it in the microwave. And that calls for a tablespoon. No, a teaspoon. So we're gonna have to do two of these again. And then what it says is, preheat your mini dash, mix all chocolate ingredients together good. And now I'm just gonna mix all that together good. Make sure I got all of them. Half a cup of mozzarella cheese, one egg, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of cream cheese. And then we're just gonna mix that well, until it's well combined. Divide by half and cook four minutes each. Put both, and then we're going to put it on a baking sheet with this. Okay, so here's the chocolate. Hey, Katie, thanks for hopping on. How are you doing? Okay, so we got our chocolate mixture mixed up. Then you could spray it, but I, I think it'll be all right. It doesn't say nothing about spraying your waffle maker, but we'll see if it sticks. I hope it don't stick. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Katie. If anybody else uh, finds value out of this and want to go back to the recipe, share it to your wall, share it to any group you're in, tag, tag some friends in this if you think they would like to have a gar cheesy garlic bread chapel. Let me try to save here. So I got that spread in there pretty good. I've never made the chaffle, this chaffle before. And we're just going to close it for four minutes and see how it turns out. Thanks, Tiff, for sharing. I appreciate you. I appreciate you sharing. I appreciate you too, Katie, sharing. Um, and anybody else who shares, I appreciate it. Because a lot of people will, would, I know I would like this if I wasn't, you know, wasn't doing it myself. I would like to see how to make a chaffle. Hey, Taryn, how you doing, girl? Thanks for hopping on. Tonight I'm making spaghetti. And meatballs. The meatballs are more for me, but they'll eat them too. But I'm having chicken tenders and yum yum, yeah, yum yum sauce. Is that GL Hughes' yum yum sauce? I just got a couple things at the store of his. Finally, I finally found the honey mustard and a couple other things. Thanks, Betty, for sharing. I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, I found a couple of his new things there too. I have to try that. I didn't see the yum yum sauce. I know when I used to go to Gold Chicken, I always used to get the yum yum sauce and dip it in my French fries. Yes, I made spaghetti and sauce. I put my sauce on early, early this morning because um, I like it in the crock pot. Because um, I like it to simmer and get like that home homemade uh, taste to it, even though it's from a jar. And I use uh, the I think it's Prego with. No added sugar in it, or you could use uh, Rayo's, any low carb version of spaghetti sauce. And well, I had that simmering all day, and then I added some gray, I fried up some ground beef and put that in there. And then I just made my meatballs, baked them in the oven. Um, I've done a lot before on the meatballs, but they were really easy. I just done the meatballs and I threw them in my sauce a little while ago. Yep, it's just about done. Okay, I'm gonna show you what it looks like as it's coming out. You like uh, yum yum sauce too, Betty? What y'all doing for the hot?
holiday? Uh, I don't really know right now. Probably not much of nothing. Sunday, I gotta go get my COVID shot, my second one. And Monday, we, I don't know if we'll go over my daughters or just have some grilled, or we we'll just have some grilled food here. Love grilling food in the summer. Hot dogs, hamburgers. Hold on, let me get my phone. Oh, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out, and it's kind of soft when you first going to get it out, but as it sits, it gets harder. But that's the chaffle, and then I'm going to put this in the oven. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it over here with the bread, the low-carb bread that I made. And then we're going to bake that for five minutes. No, that's a cheese, wouldn't it? Put both chocolates and baking sheet, melt butter, and add Italian seasoning. Okay. We got melted butter. Now we're going to add Italian seasoning and garlic powder. Now let's see. Garlic butter. That's one, tea, one tablespoon of butter. A half a teaspoon of Italian. I got stuff on this. Half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. So here's my melted butter right here. And half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Oh, garlic, so it don't matter if it's a little over. How is your mom doing? Oh, yeah, th uh, I'm glad you reminded me of that. Thank you, everybody who prayed for my mom. I appreciated that. Um, she went to Washington Hospital Center, and uh, they the good news is they didn't find anything wrong with her heart. It was fine. Her blockages were still okay. She didn't have any new ones, but she's still having breathing problems. So we can't, I don't know if she had COVID a few months ago and she wasn't having real bad breathing problems after that, but all of a sudden she started getting more breathing problems. So, uh, yeah, we're and it's getting worse. So we're trying to figure out if it's coming from the COVID long, whatever it is, longevity COVID, or is it coming from her I'm getting, for some reason, I hope I ain't losing power. Let me check my charger, make sure it's charging. Because my charger's been acting up. So I hope we don't lose each other, but hold on, let me grab my other charger because I don't want to lose it. I just have bought that new charger. Sorry about that, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I bought. I just bought that charger and I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's acting up. So luckily I have an old charger that wasn't working that great to begin with, that's why I bought a new one, but hopefully it'll get us through this. I have to order me a new one. What was I saying, my mom? Um, yeah, I don't know, we don't know why. She's, she's got, we gotta further go to a lung doctor and stuff like that to uh, see why she's still having such issues with breathing. It's really getting kind of bad. She's got to be on oxygen here lately. Um, okay, so we got our, uh, let's see, Gar our butter, Italian, and garlic. So what we're going to do is, about butter, add Italian seasoned garlic, paste, bread mixture over chaffle with basting brush. Okay, so I'm going to mix that up. over here. Let me bring you up a little bit more. Okay, and then here's my bait. I got a basting brush and I'm going to go ahead and baste the top of my chocolate with that. And as you see, I always like to use parchment paper on my pans. It's easier to clean up and it keeps it from sticking. I want to get me a silicone mat.
and add this on to my bread over here too. Remember that bread they used to make at school in the oven? I don't know if y'all remember it, the toasted bread, butter bread that was so good at school. I used to love that, but that's something like that, but that tastes like when you bake it. So now we're gonna bake this for five minutes. Melt butter and add tasty garlic powder. Spread mixture of chaffle with basin brush. Add mozzarella on top with more Italian seasoning. Okay, it says two, ta two tablespoons of mozzarella cheese, but we don't have to just keep it precise with that. We're just going to add it on here. And I think I'm going to try adding a little bit on here too. And it's a more Italian season or parsley, whatever one you want. I think I'll add a little bit of both. Just sprinkle a little bit on there. Okay, and I think I'll, add a, I'll sprinkle a little bit of parsley on top too. I know I made this one time. Not too long ago, the bread here, this was good. I've never tried this, but it looked good, so I wanted to try it. Strict keto, dirty keto. Okay, then we're gonna put this in the oven for five minutes. Or until the cheese is melted, whatever one comes first and the bread gets golden brown. So maybe we can chit chat a little bit while we're waiting. Hey, Melissa, thanks for hopping on. How are you doing? Have you ever had cheesy garlic bread? And who misses Texas toast? That's, oh, if you're keto, drop keto in the comments. If you're low carb, drop low carb. Uh, let me know if you're lazy, dirty keto, or if you're strict keto. And if you are, do you miss your Texas toast? Which, that's what they'll be having. Texas toast, but like I said, this has one slice of 17 grams of carbs. When you could do the sliced bread for six grams of carbs and the chaffle probably for one or two grams of carbs is that I'm not sure how much that is I know it ain't much and I made spaghetti spaghetti sauce with and meatballs I'm gonna be eating meatballs and sauce and a salad and my te te my Texas toast and uh, they're gonna be eating regular spaghetti and Texas toast and a salad you know, I forgot the time, so I'm just going to get by the way it looks. What'd you have for dinner? Let me know, everybody, what you have for dinner tonight. And let me know where you're coming in from. I love seeing where everybody's coming in from. I'll well, we'll go ahead and put this other top one here, and I can make it when they're done. That was the chop one. Miss it, missed it. The uh, I got the ingredients above here. I love my little truffle maker. It helps out so much for stuff you can't have on keto. But even though they're coming out with a lot of new stuff now that you can, but most of it's for dirty keto. And we're gonna put that in four minutes, and I'll go over the ingredients with you again. Uh, to make the cheesy garlic bread chaffle, you need it. You need a half a cup of mozzarella cheese, one egg, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of cream cheese, and for the garlic, for the, the garlic butter that you're going to base put on top is one teaspoon of butter, half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we just gonna, then we just added two tablespoons of mozzarella cheese and dash of parsley or Italian seasoning or both. If I did both. Really easy. And that's basically it. And then we're, I just put it in the oven for five minutes. Like I said, the recipe is above. And if you want to keep that recipe where you can go back to it, put, drop this in your on your pay, your Facebook page and tag some friends if you think they anybody would like this recipe. 
And if you like recipes like this, uh, where I get all my recipes from, drop a group in the comments. Uh, it's absolutely free. Never charge for recipes and stuff. And they got thousands and thousands, probably about 10,000 or more recipes in there. And it's a great resource group. I know it's helped me a lot with uh, my recipes and uh, like carb, doing your macros. If you do that, I really, I don't do them all the time, but once in a while I do do them. Chippies, cheese milk. Hey Shannon, thanks for hopping on. How are you doing? You doing any better? I have two Shannons on here. Shannon Renee, I think is your middle name. How are you doing? I hope you're doing better. What'd you have for dinner? Let me know what y'all have for dinner. And how you doing on your keto, keto low carb uh, lifestyle. And what you usually use for your, when you're eating spaghetti, what do you have with it? You just eat spaghetti by itself? Do you eat uh, Texas toast or uh, just a salad with it? I love spaghetti a salad and uh, of course I used to love my Texas taste. But I'm glad we can do stuff like this to get it, you know, still have the same things without the, all the carbs. But you know, sometimes I do eat the carbs. <laughs> I have to be full closure sometimes I do. I try not to every day, but sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm Cheeto Keto. and garlic powder and just melted the butter and the gar and then just paste it on there and then put it in the oven for five minutes or until the cheese melts. Nice little bit too much cheese on. Let me see what it's looking like again. Let me get my pot holder if I can find it. What the, it's looking like, but I think I'm gonna keep the bread in there until it gets more of a golden brown. But that's probably about done, and that's what it looks like. Let me see if I can show y'all my sauce real quick. I love my spaghetti sauce in the crock pot, make it homemade taste. And how do y'all cook your spaghetti sauce? Let me see if I can get you over here to see it. My cabinet's in the way. Okay. My spaghetti sauce and there's my meatballs. Yeah, meat, I'll have meatballs, salad, and some Texas toast. Thank you all for joining me tonight. I'll post a picture. I'll try to post a picture in the comments or in my stories. So always check out my stories because I usually put a lot of stuff up in there. Um, I thank you all for joining me. I appreciate you all for sharing me out. And like I said, if we're not friends already, add me as a friend because I love making new friends. 
And like, if you want to be in, if you're not in my keto group already and you want to be in my keto group, drop group in the comment. But it's not just for keto. It's also low carb or just if you want to, you know, start watching and get healthy, healthier. And I thank and appreciate y'all for joining me. Have a great evening. Thanks for your watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have more power to publish the next videos if you subscribe this channel and enable all notifications to make sure you never miss any videos in the future. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next videos.